I told you guys earlier I'm going to take you to the shopping centre in Warsaw to kind of make you understand or to let you know how it is here so let me just take you around what you can see in the shopping centre in Warsaw and just to let you know this is the, um, the biggest shopping centre um, in Warsaw so you can find literally everything you're looking for so um, I've started to see similar shops that we have in London anyway so things like H&M for example they do have H&M um, I've seen that here so can you see H&M so they've got H&M they've got Hugo Boss they've got um, they've got some American shops here as well and we have that in London as well so they've got um, Wrangler and Lee and also what they have here is um, they have a place where you can have um, have food as well like fast food so yesterday when I came here I was actually looking for um, a local Polish restaurant to go to and have Polish food but unfortunately they don't have any in the, um, in the shopping centre which makes sense anyway so you wouldn't literally or you wouldn't normally find um, local restaurants in a shopping centre normally um, so it was a bit dumb of me to look for that so it's a Saturday anyway and um, let me see the time it's around 12.23 or so so it's not too busy per se it was, it was actually really busy yesterday when I came here it was like jam packed but in terms of how many people are here today um, it's busy enough let me say so um, what you can do here as well is you can take breaks um, because the shopping centre is massive so I suppose if you're looking to buy a lot as a tourist um, you can easily take a break here because there are, there are break points um, there are places you can sit to have coffee and to chill um, they've got pasta coffee here as well so if you're a fan of coffee like me then feel free to come to pasta um, I can't do without coffee anyway so I had like three or four cups of coffee today at the um, at the hotel so if you're a coffee drinker like me then you can take a coffee break obviously um, I think they also have like um, like an information centre around here as well so just like what you get in England anyway so if you're not too sure of where to go to um, or of where certain shops are then obviously you can go to the information centre I'm not sure if this is one, no I don't think it is um, sorry I was looking at um, I was looking at a stand at the back there I thought, I thought that was an information centre but it wasn't also can you notice guys yeah nobody has stopped me from recording you see this is why I uh, this is why I love Poland yeah nobody disturbs you even yesterday when I was walking around um, I did shoot some videos um, at night what I did notice was um, the police were looking at my hand because they noticed I was holding something but they were not too sure of what I was holding yeah so maybe they thought I was holding a weapon or something but they looked at me they looked at my hand but they never questioned me they never spoke to me they never said nothing yeah so it's not like the police in England um, they might ask you oh what's that if they feel you're holding a weapon but here they tend not to come to you at all they just leave you alone to do your thing um, which is very good so for those that have heard a lot of things about Poland or oh, don't go there they are racist or oh, don't go there you're not safe actually they don't give it them they don't they don't care they don't give it them at all like they just leave you to do your thing everyone is minding their own business you know no one is harassing you no one is asking you what you're doing as long as you're not doing anything dumb no one is going to do nothing to you so walking around looking at what they have so they've got some shops that i've never seen as well before so not all the shops are similar so there are some shops I've not seen but most of them are the conventional shops that you see in London so let's go upstairs and see what they have there so 
you'll notice as well when you come to Warsaw that um, there are a lot of people that speak Russian as well. So the most common languages are Polish, um, Russian, and also some people speak um, German as well, because there are some Germans here as well. So a long time ago, there were some Germans that were nationalized um, in this country. I'm not going to go into the detail, but they've got some German speakers as well in Poland, but very, very few. Um, I know obviously back then a lot of Germans were obviously told to go back um, after the war, but there were, but, but there were some that remained um, and they got nationalized um, in Poland. So there were some people I saw that were speaking German, um, some were speaking Russian. Um, actually, my Uber driver was speaking Russian um, and he's from Azerbaijan. Um, so I need to go to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is literally a country not far away from Russia. Um, so I would like to see that country one day. And he was talking about um, how he met his wife as well. So his wife is from a place called um, Georgia. And Georgia is also a place not far away from Russia as well. Um, they're quite friendly here. Like, even it got to a point whereby I felt my taxi driver was talking too much. Um, I mean, my Uber driver was talking too much. So I put my headphones in, but he was still very friendly. He was still trying to talk. Um, and that's what you get here. So I do encourage people to come here. I definitely encourage people to come here because I think if you come here, you would realize how cultures differ in various parts of Europe. So in Western Europe, um, people are much more, um, not approachable, but people are much more energetic in nature. So. You know, they come to you, they talk to you, they play around with you. You know, some might want to know what you're doing. They might ask you if you're a vlogger. They might ask you where you're from, what country you're from. So here, people just literally mind their business. And that's why some people might think, oh, you know, they're not friendly. Also, you wouldn't just catch people smiling as well. So if you, <laughs> I'm not saying smiling is a good or a bad thing per se. I don't want to go into too much detail about how people react facially, but, um, but I suppose if you smile, people might think, oh, you're yeah, much more friendly, you're much more approachable. And if you don't smile, they might feel um, you're not approachable, but that's not really the case though. So um, some people I know that have been to Russia have said to me that um, people in Russia don't smile that much, um, but it doesn't mean they hate you. It doesn't mean they don't like you. So you get that a lot in Poland. Um, they don't actually smile like everyone is just literally looking at you talking to you normally um you might say something they find funny obviously they will laugh um they're human beings um but they wouldn't just come to you smiling like everything is all rosy but they are very they are very they are very good people so i do encourage you to come to warsaw also um I heard that um, more tourists come to Warsaw compared to, to other parts of Poland and the reason for that is there are more English speakers than, there are more English speakers in Warsaw. I can't really confirm if that's true or not so I'm not going to say that that's correct but from what I've seen I've noticed that um, there's a huge population of tourists as well but I don't think you can actually travel from Russia at the moment to Poland um, because they are trying to change or they have actually changed the way things work. So I think at the moment, um, if you're a Russian and you have um, a Schengen visa, they wouldn't let you here. So um, that's, that's the current rule, but I'm not sure about people that already came here a long time ago. So I don't know if they can tell them to go back, <laughs> but um, they do have a lot of Russian speakers here. Um, you, you would notice when they are speaking as well. So I've kind of learned some Russian words, so I could tell that they are speaking Russian. And like I said, my Uber driver, although he's not from Russia, he's from Azerbaijan, but he does speak Russian. And it's so weird though, because yesterday, he was talking to me in Russian, yeah? So when he was talking to me in Russian, 
I did know he was saying some words in Russian, but I thought, okay, he's mixing Russian and Polish, yeah? Because he will say some things and it sounds Polish as well, because I'm, I'm learning Polish as well. So when I translated certain things, it was like no Russian. So he will say some things, for example, in Polish, and he will say some things in Russian. So it was quite interesting. Um, yeah, so that's the case anyway. So in, in, in most parts of Europe now, there's, um, there's literally a ban on Russian citizens. Um, I don't know if that's a fair thing to do or not. I can't really comment on that, but I suppose every country is doing what they can to kind of support the Ukrainians, which is quite good though, because um, they are going through a lot at the moment. So I feel they need that support. It's getting quite warm, so I'm kind of opening up my jacket. So let's go upstairs to see what they have. So I've taken you to the ground floor. I've taken you to the first floor. And now we are going to the, yeah, I'm correct. So ground floor, I've taken you to. The first floor, I've taken you to. So I'm going to take you to the second floor to see what you have. Um, and I think they have a, another floor as well, up as well. I mean, up there as well. So after second, there's a third one too. Okay, let's find out what they have on the second floor. So on the second floor they have your um, your normal shops. Like I said, some some shops I've never heard of anyway. But I'll show you some of the popular ones that you know about um, in a minute. Okay, so they have a place like um, like PC World and like Curry's Hair. So in the UK you have a place called Curry's and PC World, and what they sell is literally like electronics and stuff like that so they have that here as well i'm not sure if they'll let me record but i'll show you so um they've got like um a place where they sell various electronic stuff like um like phones for example so they do have that here so you see the security i don't know if you saw the security when i came in but he he, he never stopped me from recording so um yeah so here you can get all your electronic gadgets let me even look at prices. For all you know, things are really, really cheap. I'm sorry, for all you know, things are really, really cheap here. So let's see if things are cheap in this shop. Um, so this is just um, a shop similar to like PC World or um, Curry's in the UK. So let's see if they have cheap things here that you can buy. Oh wow, so they've got, um, I'll show you this. Um, they've got that thing, the mic, you can use in a recording studio. That's really fancy, I like that. So for all you that are into music, they've got this here, 329 Zolte. That looks cheap though, I'm not gonna lie. I've not converted yet, but that looks really cheap. Wow, okay, what brand is that? Genesis. Never heard of that before, but wow. Mm. Yeah, because they use that in like recording studios. Mm. Let me look for things that I actually know in terms of brand. So they've got um, your usual. hair clippers I should tell my barber to come here and shop I'm sure things are far more cheaper here because the prices I see look really cheap so that washing machine for example is um, a thousand four hundred and ninety nine Zolte I'm just going to try to convert it now whilst I'm recording I don't know if that's cheap or not but I'll check now a thousand four hundred and ninety nine Zolte in pounds hopefully is not too expensive because I just want to prove to you that um, you get value yeah so mm, it's roughly the same amount of money you'd spend in the UK, so a hundred and I mean a thousand four hundred and ninety-nine Zolte is two hundred and seventy-six pounds. 
so roughly the same amount you spend in the UK for that. So yeah, it's not it's not that cheap. Okay, let's walk away from here and see what they have outside. But I just wanted to give you a feel of what you can get here. So this, like, like I said, this is like a similar um, shop um, they have in the UK. So it's similar to um, to Curry's and Peace and World. But I'm not even sure if Curry's and Peace and World still operate um, in terms of they have stores around because a lot of them have moved online so I'm not sure if they still have stores but um but I think I've seen a curry store recently but I don't shop I don't shop in curries and PC world um, I tend to just buy from the actual brand because curries and PC world sell like Apple computers they sell Dell computers but I tend to, if I need to buy anything anyway, I tend to go to the supplier direct um, to buy it. So we are still exploring the second floor of the shopping centre. It's quite massive though. Um, I, I was going to say similar to um, the Dubai Mall in terms of size, but I doubt it. I don't think it's that big. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really big though. It's a really, really big um, shopping centre. My legs are literally aching already. Um, I'm not the one to um, to window shop. I used to do that when I was a kid. But now, if I need anything, I just go online to buy it. Instead of actually coming to the shop to buy it. There's a lot of Costa coffee. There's another one here. Um, Costa is really popular anyways across Europe. Um, that's another one. That's actually the fourth one I've seen since I came. Um, there were some that I saw, yeah, actually there were two that I saw yesterday um, in town and now I've seen two in this shopping centre. So they have a lot of Costa. Well, obviously that's, um, that's normal across Europe anyway. So they've got that shop. They've got that in the UK too. They've got that in the UK too. So it's quite similar. Well, that's what you get in Europe. Everything you see in one particular European country, you see them across the board um, when you travel. So that's the joy of traveling around. You tend to compare what you see, um, but things are similar anyway. CCC, I've seen that before, but I just don't know the meaning of that acronym, but I've seen that, I've seen that around. So, I'm going to avoid going to the third floor. That's the third floor, but I think all they have there is literally um, fast food. So I'm not going to bother going to the third floor. So I must say it's been a good walk around. Um, it's been good to kind of look at what they have in a shopping center in Poland. Um, it's so interesting to know that, um, you know, everything here is quite similar to what we have in the UK. It's just the people that are different, obviously, because you're in Poland. Um, in terms of the people, you know, there's nothing negative. Um, the people are not staring at me like people thought would happen, you know, people thought um, that when you go, I mean, people thought that when I get to Poland, there'll be a lot of stairs, you know, there'll be a lot of curiosity. Yes, you get that once in a while, but um, everyone is literally minding their own business. No one cares, to be honest. Uh, so, this is how a shopping centre in Warsaw is. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Um, my next vlog would be looking at the main town. Um, to kind of show you what you can get there and hopefully we get some interesting um, we get some interesting content that's the word um, you know because I just want to see you know the touristic buildings um, I just want to see the vibe around just to kind of feel how the environment is um, 
and also to get a perception of of Poland literally um, you know it will be so interesting to go to the town itself to get the vibes um, I'm going to leave it here um, if you haven't obviously subscribed please subscribe to my channel um, please like and please comment um, and I'll see you in the next video thank you